Okay, I'm here, and this is an atomic bomb. I'm gonna go a little bit over how an atomic bomb works. So, uh, this is for a standard atomic bomb, not a hydrogen bomb. So, uh, the casing would shape the charge. It has, it has about that much uh, steel in it. It has RDX shaped in pie cuts, which channel the blast in. So there's an implosion and then an explosion. Uh, the, uh, the way you set off a, a hydrogen bomb, it's like a pancake layer. So you would have an atomic bomb uh, to, to concentrate the, uh, the explosion to cause the hydrogen to fuse. That's, that's what an H-bomb is. And a, a normal atomic bomb is fission. A uh, hydrogen bomb is fusion, which which uh, uh, releases way more energy. Now, uh, the uh, and you can see this is a big boy here. They've got them uh, smaller. And this is uh, the 2.5. I think they towards the end they got this model up to uh, three kilotons through. Uh, uh, placing the fissile material closer and closer together in, in geometric configuration. So uh, the explosion in here that, triggers, that, that triggered the bomb was called RDX, a rapid deployed explosion. And it, it explodes at about 2,300 feet per second. And here's the dead drop fins in the background here. Now, uh, uh, RDX is what they bind with uh, plastic explosives. And so uh, the plastic explosive, uh, depending on which kind it is, may only blow up as much as 19,000 feet per second because you, you put the plastique with it to uh, make it easier to handle without losing really that much of your load. So here's a picture of uh, the fat man here. It was a plutonium weapon. And uh, here's a, a map of Nagasaki after the bomb. Uh, it's always kind of been my contention that uh, now they'll tell you that they got there there was there's two theories on the Nagasaki bombing one they got lost they meant to hit a munitions plant and they got lost and they dropped it there the other was that it was the uh, the plant but as you can see down here the only viable target in Nagasaki was the Mitsubishi uh, ship plant which would have been further down here which actually pretty much escaped it so uh, Nagasaki was known as a uh, little Rome it had the highest concentrations of Christians of any part of uh, of Japan uh, I used to discount this theory that it, it, you know that even as paranoid as I am about everything that uh, they wouldn't have done that just to kill the Christians. But as I get older, I think maybe that's why uh, Nagasaki was chosen, that, that they didn't lose their way in the fog, that they just, uh, they chose it. Uh, a, they were going to have to drop it somewhere, and uh, B, they, you know, kill some Christians on top of it. Because the people that rule the world are Satanists. So anyway, here's the atomic bomb again. And like I said, it works on uh, implosion implosion concentrating the fissile material together and then that causes an explosion and uh so anyway that's here at the uh, war museum of the pacific check it out thanks i'm